Earth Day is coming up this Sunday, April 22nd. So today, the Kitchen Pantry Scientist has some Earth Day experiments to help us kind of gear up, get excited about spring. Yep. Liz Heineke joins us now on Mid Morning. And Liz, I'm ex we're going to be playing with some dirt today. We are. <laughs> it's kind of sad. We have to do indoor science experiments, right? right? <laughs> but um, I have some good ones, and some help you get ready for spring. So if okay. you cut up some cardboard and paper mm -hmm. and just make a big stack, find some rubber bands or Velcro to put around it, when spring arrives, your kids can press flowers and flatten them, you know. Mm -hmm. Tighten it up, put some books on. Super pretty, super fun. We all did this as kids, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We usually just did cool. it in a big book, and you yep. find them like five right. years later. But, yeah. <laughs> but no one has um, big dictionaries or encyclopedias no, no, anymore. Exactly. So. This is one I love, especially for toddlers and little kids. So if you have some beans in mm -hmm. your cupboard. Kidney beans. Is kidney what beans, are? whatever yeah. kind of beans, or peas, mm -hmm. as long mm -hmm. as they haven't been irradiated and killed. Like, you put them in a plastic Ziploc bag with mm -hmm. a damp paper towel, hang it up in a window, and kids can watch how <gasps> seeds grow. Oh, my the gosh. The seed con contains all the nutrients the plant needs to grow. They can watch the roots come out, the, seed, the leaves emerge. Super fun, super cool. That's a great, Perfect. I mean, because we, we have tiny kids, two and three, and they would love oh, that. Oh, totally, yeah. It's, it's magical to a yes. little kid to see the sprout. It is, and I kind of like it, too. I yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All okay, right. this is a project that I love. It's from my new book. So these projects are terrariums and aquatic ecosystems. They all involve ecosystems which are basically like giant neighborhoods for living and non-living things. Mm -hmm. okay. So Earth has a big ecosystem, right? Plants produce oxygen. They take in carbon dioxide. A scientist named Joseph Priestley discovered this because he realized that if he put a spider in a jar and screwed the lid shut, the spider would die, right? Mm -hmm. Used up all the oxygen. If you put a plant in with the spider, the spider would live because mm -hmm. the plant produces yeah. oxygen. So same idea in a terrarium or an ecosystem. If you go to the store, Use, of course, non chlorinated water. I mm -hmm. just put some gravel in a jar, some rocks in the bottom. Go to the pet store, or in the summer, you could go to the pond, get some um, aquatic plants, yep. put them in the jar. And then the cool thing is, I have a snail and a ghost shrimp in there. I was joking with my neighbor. This snail has been alive since last summer when we photographed my book. Oh, funny. <laughs> but it's basically, you don't have to feed them because mm -hmm. algae grows in here. You can see there's a little algae on the side. So the snail eats the algae, the plants are producing oxygen. It's this, a self-contained system. This is the easiest fish tank in the world. Right. Easiest fish tank. <laughs> so if you're not grossed out by snails, your kids okay. will love it. That's nope. fun. No I love that. Low to no maintenance. Okay. Terrariums are always gorgeous, right? I love it. They're fun. You just get some dirt, get some plants. If you're going to put, like, for example, some hermit crabs in your terrarium, mm -hmm. be sure to buy the dirt at the pet store. Got it. And oh. even just, like, maybe pop the plants in, in their little pots. So you can change the dirt. Change the dirt. Out. So this is my daughter's um, terrarium that we have for the hermit crabs. Mm -hmm. um, but it's kind of cool. You can watch how animals um, live in their environments. We have a little um, humidity sensor in here. Huh. So she has to, when the humidity gets too low, she has to spritz it. But it's a cool mm. way for kids to learn about that. Cool. Watch animals in their environment. Perfect, perfect mm -hmm. for Earth Day. And all of this is in your book. This yep, one? outdoor science, outdoor lab, science for kids. lab for Kitchen kids. Kitchen science lab has the bean experiment. My new book has the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. You're all set. All right, find all the books at Liz's website, kitchenpantryscientist.com. Go to wccocom links, and we'll get you there. Thanks, Liz. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Matt.